Hello everyone, my name is Adam Huber. I work for the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service in Allen County, Kentucky. And welcome to Wildlife Wednesdays. This is a video series that I chose to come up with because uh, I'm very passionate about wildlife habitat improvement, um, food plots, and just wildlife in general. And I get the question uh, often here at my office, people will call, and want to know uh, different information about food plots, but I also see this a whole lot on social media sites, forums, food plot forums, and, and different th different uh, things like that. Um, the discussion is always, what should I spray on my clover? What should I spray on my food plots in general to get rid of certain types of weeds? And today I wanted to share, you know, my knowledge with you uh, because I am so passionate about this, and I. Uh, I know quite a bit in this uh, field about this top, this top very very topic, and so that's what we're going to go over today on Wildlife Wednesday. Here uh, is what should I spray on my food plots to get rid of certain weeds. So the main, the first question is usually uh, what should I spray on my clover to get rid of grasses, and you have two herbicide options whenever you ask that question. The first one would be Sethoxidum. And then the second one would be clethidum. Those are two. Those are the two herbicide options that you have that are non that are selective uh, grass grass uh, herbicides. So whenever you go to spray those on your clover plots, your alfalfa, your chicory things such as that, you're only going to be able to kill the grasses in those plots. Um, hence, it is a selective grass herbicide. Um, and again, that is cethoxidum and clethidum. Those are your two. Those are your two main options for killing grass species in a uh, clover or broadleaf food plot. Now the next question is how do I kill broadleaf weeds in my clover or my chicory or my alfalfa feed plots? And there's really one, only one option you have and that is with two different products. That is Buterac. That is the active ingredient, and that's usually found in Buterac 200 or 24D B. Now, the B being very very important uh, in the name because you don't want to get 24D and spray on your clover because that is a broadleaf herbicide only, and you're going to kill your clover, your whatever broadleaf uh, plants that you have planted. You're going to kill those. So B is very important whenever you ask asking for 24D B, and that includes Buterac. So that, that's what your, your option is for, um, for your clovers, your chicories, whenever you're wanting to kill broadleaf weeds. 2,4-DB or Buterac 200, active ingredient is Buterac. That's what your option is. So uh, another question you may, may ask is, how do I kill a grass species, or a, how do I kill a broadleaf weed in my grasses? And so the answer to that question would be 2,4-D with no B. 2,4-D is how you get rid of broadleaf weeds in grass in your grass crops. Um, one thing that you don't want to do is spray glyphosate, which we all know is Roundup, on any of your food plots. Unless you're trying to, unless you're doing a pre-plant, you're trying to burn all the, 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 the weeds down, grasses, broadleaf, whatever it is. Whenever you want to kill all of those, that's when you use glyphosate. Um, because that, it will indeed kill everything. You don't want to spray that on any of your, your established food plots because you're going to kill uh, the whole field. You definitely don't want to do that after you've spent hours and hours tilling, planting, seeding, fertilizing, all that stuff. Um, you don't want to take all of your hard hard work and then with within 10 minutes <clears throat> spray the wrong product on it and uh, and kill it all. Um, again, just to, just to go just to overview what we've talked about here today. I know this is a short video, but I want to make these videos short uh, and educational, but get the the point across. So, whenever you're talking about spraying your clovers to kill grasses, you're looking at sethoxidum and clethidum. Those are the two products that you uh, that you want to spray. Now, if you want to sp uh, want to kill broadleaf weeds in your clover. You want to look at uh, Buterac 200 or 2,4-DB. Buterac is the active ingredient that you're looking for. Um, if you if you're looking to kill broadleaf weeds in grass crops, you want 2,4-D. That would be the product that you need to kill broadleaves in grass crops. Now, if you're wanting to kill everything, a non-selective herbicide, you want glyphosate. That's going to be uh, that's going to kill everything in your field. 
And so again, that's uh, that's your Wildlife Wednesday topic of for today. And uh, I hope that you all have learned something here. If you if you want to know more about uh, chemical rates, would you what rate you should apply with your gallons per acre and, and things such as that. Read the labels on the products that you're purchasing. The label is the law, and uh, it has every, all the information that you uh, could ever ask for on the labels. So just follow the label, and, uh, and you should be golden. Again, this is Adam Huber with the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service in Kentucky, and this is Wildlife Wednesdays. Catch us again on the next segment, and then also at the end of this video, uh, there is a link uh, to a small to a short five-question survey. Uh, please take that survey. Give me your feedback. I'd love to hear back from you and uh, all of your input. And, and I want to know if these videos are educational and helpful, or if they're not. But again, this is Adam Huber, and thank you for watching Wildlife Wednesdays.